This is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a local directory website with WPL import. Right now, I have a default WordPress installation, and I'm going to activate the listings theme by WooThemes. That's a great theme for building directory websites. Here's what that looks like with no content in it yet, just a blank listings theme. And now I'm going to go back to the admin panel and activate WPL import. The plugin is now active, so we go to the new import menu. I have a feed of about 300 golf courses in the Southern California area, and we're going to build a directory of those golf courses. Now on this screen, you'll see that it matches 311 golf courses. However, I want to make sure we're only importing golf courses with more than three photographs. So I'm going to do something a little bit advanced. I'm going to use XPath to filter the feed and only import golf courses with more than three photographs. You can use XPath to filter a feed by price. If, say, you wanted to only import products less than a certain price, you can really filter your feed based on anything using XPath. Our support team is happy to help you with XPath if you're not familiar with it. And you can also click the View XPath documentation link to read a short XPath tutorial. Now we've moved on to step three, where we can set our post title and post content based on data in our feed. So I'm going to use the address, and then the city, and the state, and the zip. I'm also going to put the phone number in. And this feed has information on the golf rates, twilight rates, and more. I'm going to skip forward in the video so you don't have to watch me design that part of the template. Okay, that's now complete. Let's preview it. Looks right, so we'll move on to the next step. Now here we get to set our import options. I want to create listings instead of posts or pages, so I select the listings tab. That allows WPL import to import to custom post types. All the custom post types available on your site will show as tabs in step four. Each listing can have a location, a type, and features. We only need to use location for this site, so we're going to set the listing location to the city of the golf course. Some themes have features that require certain custom fields to be set. The listings theme is one of them. The listings theme will display a Google map in your post, and we wanted to display that map with the address of the golf course. And to do that, we're required to set certain custom fields. The names of the custom fields to use and the values they must be set to differ on a theme-by-theme -theme basis. So we asked WooThemes what fields we should use and what we should set their values to, and that's what we're doing right now. There are a few more fields to set, so I'm going to skip ahead in the video so you don't have to watch me create each one. Okay, I've created all of the custom fields now. Next thing I'm going to do is set WPL import to download three photos for each golf course. So just putting the photo X pass in the featured image box and WPL import will automatically download those photos to the image gallery. We click finish and WPL import will download the images and start creating our posts. Now, since there are 600 photos to be downloaded and uh, more actually about 900 photos to be downloaded this is going to take about 20 minutes so i'm going to pause the recording and resume it once the import is complete okay the import is now complete let's go over to the main site and check it out you'll notice that some golf courses are imported but we're missing the featured golf courses in the featured panel in the listings theme so we're going to go over to the listing theme settings and see why that is Okay, we need to tag each of our listings with featured to make them featured. So we'll go over to listings, not posts, but listings, because we created listing custom post types. And you'll see all the golf courses are imported. And we're just going to pick the ones we want to feature and tag them as featured. How about this one? And why not? Okay, now we're going to go back over to the main site and refresh. And now we have our featured panel with the golf courses. 
And here's our individual listing page with the three images imported and the Google map. It looks like we made a mistake though. It looks like there's no new line in the address between the address and the city. So we'll go to manage imports, edit the import template and fix the problem. Yep, no new line. So we'll put a new line there. Preview it. Okay, it looks right. So we'll update the template. But now we have to import the feed again to actually change our posts. And we don't want to waste a bunch of time downloading the images and resetting the categories because we've already done that. So we're going to choose the keep categories option and keep images option. And now we're going to save our settings and now we're going to click the update link. And the update link is going to re-import all of our posts. And it's going to be very quick this time because we're not downloading images. It should only take about 15 seconds. You'll notice there's a bug in the progress bar. It shows incorrect times. That's because we, we used an alpha release on this site. We fixed that in the final release of the plugin. OK, that is done. Let's go back to our site. Let's take a look at one of the individual listings and make sure the address looks good. It does. We fixed it. And you can see the Google map. That is how WPL Import can build a local directory in 15 minutes. Thank you for watching.